Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of association and causation, how we can find the difference between the two with real life examples, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's define association first. Association is simply when two variables are related. Uh, they don't necessarily cause one another, but you can understandably link the two. So here's an example. So let's say we are tracking the number of air conditioning units sold in a city. And we are also tracking uh, the number of ice cream cones sold in the local, the local ice cream parlor. We could probably say that these two are associated, but we can't say that they're caused by one another. Just because you sell more air conditioning units doesn't mean that you are going to sell more ice cream cones or vice versa. We could probably say they are both associated because they're both caused by something else. So the real cause is probably going to be an increase in temperature. That makes a little bit more sense. So if we were to bring the increase in temperature into this, maybe we can say the increase in temperature caused the air conditioning unit sales to increase or the ice cream cone sales to increase but just these two right here are going to be associated there's a link between the two but one does not cause the other here's another example so let's say the world cup is on television right so the world cup is a famous soccer match that happens uh, once every four years, all the countries in the world come together. They vie for their national pride, and it's very, very exciting. So the World Cup is going on, and we're going to say that we notice that the sale of soccer balls increases at our local sporting goods store. Well, those two are probably associated. People are interested in soccer as the World Cup is going on but I'm not sure that we can say that those two are necessarily, one is caused by the other. World Cup is going to have an effect on the soccer ball sales, but it could be the fact that maybe it's the beginning of soccer season and soccer ball sales are going to naturally increase at the beginning of soccer season. And so those two are going to be linked together. They're related, but not necessarily caused by one another. So. As you can tell, causation is much stronger. So causation not only includes association. So if you have two variables that are have a causation, they not only include association, but it's stronger because one variable is directly affected by another variable. And both of these can either be positive or negative. In the two association examples, they're both a positive association. As one increases, so does the other but sometimes they're negative. As one increases, the other decreases. So what are some examples of causation? Well, uh, let's say you have a job. Let's say you're working extra hours. Well, what is going to happen if you work extra hours? Well, if you work extra hours, that is gonna cause your paycheck to increase. Now that is a direct causation because the amount of money you get on your paycheck if you're paid hourly is directly related to the amount of hours you work. So increasing your hours is going to directly increase your paycheck. So that is a causation because one variable is directly affected by another variable. The amount of money I make is directly affected by how many hours I work. What if we were to say we noticed this month we had a an increase in the number of sunny days. So what would that cause? Well, that might cause an increase in the number of sunburns that are reported at a local clinic. Because you get sunburns from being outside in the sun, so an increase in the number of sunny days might cause an increase in the number of sunburns. So that's really what we're looking for. When the two variables are linked, then you might say they're associated. But if one variable causes the other variable, has a direct impact, not only is it an association, but it is also a causation.